Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Hello. And I noticed some comments appearing all over the galaxy we've been to. Not gonna cover those. Not nope. Done later. Those are those, uh. Oh, what are they called now? Prankster Cons. Oh, Prankster Con. That's the yeah. word, yeah. Oh, okay. They're basically special challenges. They'll give you different ways of doing previous missions. Also, Luigi. Oh, Luigi! Always in haunted houses. Yeah, I love this little continuity nod. Yeah, last place was like a Mario Sunshine. Now this is like a Luigi's Mansion. Mm -hmm. Which I really want to play the 3DS. Is it 3DS that it's on? Yeah, 3DS one. Have you played it? No. Oh. I've heard good things, I've had bad things. I wish it was on the Wii or something, or like on a bigger screen. I'm not, I haven't been a, as big a fan of the smaller, like a DS type thing. Hmm. I don't know, I, I'm not really sure, because like, does Luigi's Mansion of all things really need that big of a screen? In not fact, really. It kind of really, it's more about being claustrophobic, if anything. Yeah. So yeah, as with any proper ghost house, this place is full of lots of annoying puzzles and gimmicks and stuff like that. Of course. It's pretty cool though, and it has a nice like, atmosphere to it. So you got your classic boos who, if you look at them, they become scared and stop. And when you shake, they just kind of spin off? Yep. And if you fling them into a wall, they get stuck for a while, but you don't want that. You want to hit this switch. Eh. One day. There we go. And it makes a very weird-looking light. It looks like a UFO. It looks like N64 light. But yeah, now you just have to lure the boos into the light, and they'll die. Yay. I wonder how ghosts even come to exist if sunlight will kill them. <laughs> They're not even that smart. Like, oh, better go after Mario. Their stupid tongues hanging out. Like, they're so happy with themselves. They're smug bastards. <laughs> and pumpkin Goombas. Yep. You can't jump on their heads, but you sure can spin them. Are they Goombas with pumpkins, or are they actually pumpkins? They're Goombas. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, this place is kind of annoying because the star chips will float off onto separate sections of the wall and you have to chase after them and stuff. It's kind of annoying. Well, those three came to you, basically. Or, well, two of them did. Yep, they sure did. Also, I fired that Goomba into a black hole and it just disappeared. <laughs> yeah, where's the other one? I'd imagine where the Goomba that still hasn't been killed is. Yeah. I was right. I can't wait that the crack there. You'd think that something might actually be there. Yeah. I don't know. I never should try ground pounding there. Maybe there is something. So why is Luigi here randomly now? I don't know. It's his mansion. He probably won it from you yet or something. <laughs> I do like how it actually zooms in on this for some stupid reason. To show us him. To show the desperation in his eye. Yes. This is the year of Luigi, after all. <laughs> we really should have played Super Luigi Galaxy instead. Super Luigi Galaxy, yeah. But that's harder, right? Slightly. Certain missions. Oh yeah, time for a new power-up. This is the one I mentioned before that's terribly underutilized. It appears in three missions in the entire game. And one of them is completely optional. Weird. In fact, I think you'd be very mad at my choice in that mission, but anyways. Oh, you didn't do it? No, 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 there's something else. But you'll see when we see. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Boo Mario can float infinitely, so it's better than the B already, right there. Mm. Um, if you touch light, he turns back to normal. And he can turn transparent and float through uh, grates. Only grates for whatever reason. <laughs> and yeah, you bounce off stuff annoyingly. Also, um, booze become romantically attracted to you when they see you. Wait, you're feminine? Or is this supposed to show that gays are okay? That's Nintendo's thing here. Or it's a female boo. Maybe. That's too <laughs> easy. <laughs> so why is Luigi... Well, how did he even get in there and why is he there? 
Like, why is he mm -hmm. trapped behind multiple layers? Like, it's not even this room that's boarded off. Like, it was a boarded off room to well, get to this place. The, maybe the ghost put him there. Ah, darn ghosts. And he had a star with him, of course. Mm hmm And also, it's one of those rare instances where Luigi appears in the background. See? Yay. It just, like, it just sort of spins. It's like a <laughs> lame flash animation. <laughs> so is he with us now? Yep, he appears on the common observatory. You can tell because you don't go back to the dome, you come out here instead so Rosalina can talk to you. And what's he do? He finds power stars, just like the... Toad uh, Brigade. Toad Brigade. He's actually slightly better at it though, because he'll actually send you letters saying he found a power star. Good. Hint, hint. So yeah, let's head over and have a talk with Luigi. I noticed that all the cake-loving artists' favorite characters seem to gather over there. <laughs> Who else does he like? Luigi. Well, other than Luigi. The Toad Brigade. Other than them. That's all there is. That's all he likes? I don't know. I only likes Mario. Cake-loving artist. Good egg galaxy. So yeah, Luigi claims that there's a... A star we missed in Good Egg Galaxy, I say screw you. And how is he supposed to know that anyways? Mm, he's probably been there too. How did he even get off the Mushroom Kingdom? Uh, the Toad Brigade says they got lost with Luigi. Oh, of course. Let's go back up here, I guess. Indeed. After we get another one up. Yep, we gotta have all of them. 36 lives. Perfect. I don't know if that's enough, though. Mm, well, we can always grind for more if need be. <laughs> so we finished... Oh, no, we didn't finish off that boo place, did yeah, we? That was just the first one. Yeah, these levels are way shorter than I remember them. Yeah, there's little bites, but I like that. They don't overstay their welcome. Yeah. Like, I don't know about you, but... By the time I got to the eighth mission in uh, Mario Sunshine, I was kind of sick of the place. Yeah. Oh, a rugby boo. Time for a very spooky sprint. With the spooky spirit. Ha. Huh. Get it. Yeah, something I just didn't know about until now. That little... What is that, a stalactite or stalagmite? Stalagmite? I don't know. Wait, what's the first one you said? Stalactite. Oh, I don't know. Man, there's a rainbow star in there for some strange reason. I did not know this, but I found it during this playthrough. Uh, there you go. You learn something new every time. I actually did find some new stuff playing through this game again. People say it's completely linear and there's nothing new to learn, but I disagree. I didn't get what the point of that was, though, because it yeah. runs out before you even get there. Not that it would do anything. And there was only a couple enemies back where you were that to kill, so... Mm -hmm. Well, even the trees have spooky faces. Yeah, they look kind of angry. Oh, visors. He's ready yeah. to go. Yeah, I don't want to get that wind turbulence in space. <laughs> <laughs> so why is he not scared of you? How come he can look at you without... Mm, he has a visor. Uh... It all makes sense now. I see. Doesn't explain why he can look at you before the, the visor, but anyways. It's another little example of dynamic music, too. I like uh, the you get a little drum beat whenever you come near him. But yeah, even though it's very easy to fall far behind this guy, it's really not that hard to win this race. For a very simple reason, I'll show very soon. Something annoying though is the pole stars do kind of have a really stupid range, so you might end up thinking you can click on something, but you can't. But yeah, made oh. a shortcut right there. That's fair. Indeed. First. Oh, skull. You win. Hmm. Totally legit. Yeah, it didn't cheat or anything. Well, granted, the boo was actually flying the whole time, <laughs> so... The trees were blue, or like, or green or something. They were happy with you. Now they're red again. What? Back before, the trees' faces were green or blue or something. 
Um, sure. It's true. Yeah. Rewind! <laughs> Where you wired the tickle, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, even the trees have spooky faces. Yeah, they look kind of angry. Oh, visors. He's ready to go. You think that. You go on and think that. Yeah, well. More plot? I guess. Who knows what might happen now? Maybe a boo will appear. You wish. Oh, more mail. Oh, we got a letter from Luigi. Yeah, this is what I was talking about before. Luigi will tell you all about the stars he found. Then you have to go find him because oh. he sucks. <laughs> he finds the star, but then he gets trapped. On top of a roof in the first galaxy. <laughs> wow, well, one is. Next to a warp pipe, I should know. <laughs> that w would get him out. Nope. But he still managed to mail this to you. Yep. How does mail work in this game? <laughs> See you next time. Adios.